Hi, AT from CNC at home. I have these couple little sample dog tag things. Well, there's a dog tag and a cat tag. And I want to try doing some burning experiments to see how the laser does. To do that, I want to make a template for each of these in light burn. What I'm going to do is take a picture of those blanks, bring them into light burn, and show you how I can make a template that is to scale. So the first thing we want to do is get the picture taken and then bring them into light burn. Let's head over to light burn and take a look at how that is. Here's what the image looks like. I have my straight edge on here for scale, and then I have a good image of the cat head. The dog bone, not so much. I'll probably have to take a different picture of that. The same process will apply. Let's bring this into light burn and go from there. Here we have the image in light burn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a trace edge to see if I can get most of this in there. It doesn't need to be exact, but I need it to be close. Then I will use the straight edge and a feature in light burn called two point rotate scale to get this sized correctly. Let's uh, right click on the image and do a trace. Since I only want this cat head, I'm just going to put a rectangle around it. So that's the only part that's being adjusted. I'm getting a bunch of extra junk in here. This is due to the reflective nature of the, of the, of the tag and there's a little bit of a shadow on there. So this isn't going to be exact. I'm going to go ahead and accept this. I can play around with the threshold, but I found that in this case, it really doesn't help me. So let's go ahead and accept that. I'm going to leave the delete image after trace. I'm going to leave that off because I still want to see the image so that I can address, adjust my template appropriately. I've got this big, huge cat head on there. Let's zoom into it real quickly. Maybe back out a little bit. And as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff we don't need. I'm going to put this on the blue layer. And then we can see a little bit better how much junk is in here that we really don't need. What I'm going to do is get rid of some of this. So by selecting from the left to the right, any object that's 100% in there will be selected. Ah, I see what's happening. We, we, we need to ungroup this first. It's one of the things that happens when you do an edge trace. Everything gets grouped together. Let's try that again. So we'll get everything. We won't get quite all that circle. So we've quickly gotten rid of most of this. I'm going to do a quick preview because that'll show me if there's just a little something off to the side. And in general, this would work just fine. I want to make it a little bit nicer. I know that this is a circle, so let's grab the circle tool instead of trying to edit that. We know that it's approximately here. And it's about that big. Let's see if we can switch that to a different layer so we can deal with that. Let me just turn that off quickly. And then what I want to do is not, I want to select this hole and get rid of it in favor of our actual round hole. We could leave it at that. Uh, this edge isn't too bad over here. It's a little rough. Again, just a template. This side is horrendous. So let's see if we can at least clean that up a little bit. If we turn our image back on real quickly, we can see that this side started out nicely, but it got a bunch of extra gunk in there. Um, so we'll want to clean that up. This side went really wide because of the shadow, and so that's going to be incorrect. So we'll need to deal with those two things. I'll start by cleaning up this side, and I'll clean up this little piece down there. So let's just turn the image off quickly, and we'll do that with our edit nodes. We'll just come in here. We'll zoom in on this, and I'll just hover over a couple of these nodes and delete them. And then I'll scroll down to the bottom of all this. Probably should have zoomed out. 
It's not too late. Oh, it is. <laughs> okay, I'll go ahead and delete a couple of these guys down here. Okay. Now, in my select mode, I can just go in here and select all of that. Again, from left to right, only the objects that are completely in my rectangle are selected. Click delete, and I've gotten rid of that. Uh, let me zoom in on here, and we'll do a quick node edit on this, and we'll get rid of all of that. We'll just take this point, Yep, we'll take this point and add it to there. And then we'll just slide this around about like that. Now if we turn on our image, we should see that that matches pretty well. So we're good there. What we want to do is we want to finish out this side that didn't, uh, well it picked up a lot of this reflection and such. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Line Tool, and I'll make sure I'm on my blue layer, and I'm going to do a line and just do a few sections of it to hit a few spots along the edge, and we'll get to our, there we go. Now it looks rough, so what I want to do is under Node Edit, I will hover over here and press S. What S does is it S stands for smoothing, and you'll see extra handles show up. So this little handle, this little handle show up, and that will let me round that line just a tad. So if we zoom in a little bit. We want this line to just to come out a little, and this to come out just a little, and that follows the edge. We'll do the same thing here. We'll just get that line to come out. Okay, now that we're looking at that, doesn't look too bad. That looks a little fat over here. We could fix that, I suppose. We could just bring this in just a little bit. See how that looks. Okay, that's smoothed out just a little bit. And all in all, that side looks good. This side is a bit fat. So what I want to do, instead of fixing this side, this uh, particular part is symmetric, I'm just going to draw a line down the middle and then just mirror that across. So let's start with our line tool. I'll just, uh, before we move on, let's go ahead and get our cat head and the circle on the same layer. I'll put those both on the blue. And I'm going to group them together so that our template is one whole piece. And I'm going to turn off the image for right now so it's not in the way. And then on the red layer, I want to draw a line. It doesn't matter which layer. I'm just going to start up here, and by holding the Shift key, as you can see, that makes my line snap vertical. It would also let me snap horizontal if I went the other direction. And let's get that lined up in the circle. So this line we want to... Oops. <laughs> Selection mode. <sighs> Just wait, Lightburn 2.0 has a, has a feature for that. Never, we'll, we'll, we'll highlight that when it comes out. So this line we want to center up in that circle. So we'll just, I guess we don't want this grouped at the moment, do we? Let's try that again. This line, shift select the circle, and then a line. There we go. Now we've got a nice spot right in the middle of our object. So what we want to do is get rid of this side. To do that, I'm going to do a rectangle. I'm just going to snap to that corner. 
and I don't need to snap to the bottom, I just need to fit the whole half of the cat head in here. Then what we'll do is select the cat head and our circle. Now we'll group them together. So that, and then I'm going to shift select our rectangle. And what I'm going to use is a feature called cut shape. So now anything inside of that red rectangle is going to be cut and become a, it's a separate part. Why it's not grabbing that whole circle, I'm not sure. That's kind of an oddity. But if I select this now, we'll see that I can move it independently. I'll go ahead and delete it. Uh, let's get this. Do we want to fix that? Let's ungroup it. Come in here and we will just delete that part. Not super necessary, but I did it anyway. Okay. So we'll grab our cat. We'll shift select the line. We'll come up here and we will mirror. Boom. That's what we want to see. And we can get rid of that line. Now if we turn our image back on, that should look pretty decent. Gray that out. So that template looks really good now. So that's the, the shape that we want. Now that we have the shape, we need to scale it. And the scaling is why we have the ruler in here. So what I want to do is draw a line from this corner some distance. So we'll just say line tool, and I'm going to visually line that up on the corner of my straight edge and just do a horizontal line some distance, it doesn't really matter what, and click again. Now if we just don't show that real quick, so we have a line, I want to scale that line to be a known amount. So I'm going to come up and from the lower left hand corner, I want to say the width of that line is 50 millimeters. And what I'm going to do is line up that line using the two-point rotate, or what's it called here? It's the two-point rotate scale option. I'm going to scale the image and my blue vectors. I'm going to scale all that so that the 50 millimeters on the ruler matches the 50 millimeter line. That's I'm going to do a control A to select everything, then a control click on that line so that that red line's not selected. Underneath my arrange, I will do the two-point rotate and scale. I'll first select the end of that, and then I'm going to come out here to the 50 millimeter and click shift, and then click and hold, and then bring this back, and if I zoom in, we can see our red line, and it snaps to the end. Let go of my click, and now our image and our template have been scaled to size so that it's, it's all correct. The image, I don't need any more, so I can get rid of that. This line I don't need any more, I can get rid of that. What's left, I'm just going to throw in the lower left hand corner. And that is my cat template. I can either save this. Um, I could add it to my uh, art library. I'm going to save this off as a template for when we do, do test burning on this. I did the same process on the dog bone and this is what it turned out. So it's not 100% perfect, but for a template, it's exactly what we need. The process is real simple. So now we have templates for dog bones and templates for the cat face. Now that we have our templates all created, let's burn out a template and see if it matches up with the actual blank itself. That looks close. Let's see if it works when we overlay that on top. What do we get? Not bad at all. Blank on top. Right, the cutouts are underneath and it looks like it's got a pretty good, pretty good job. Let's set them on top and see what it looks like. 
Those turned out really well. I think that's a success for building these templates. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the content of our channel, think about subscribing. Enjoy doing your CNC at home projects. Oops. Give the dog a bone. Oh yeah.